How do you know if you're in the dark night of the soul? Let me give you five signs that I experienced and maybe that'll give you an idea of whether you're in or not. So obviously you may be having a difficult time and you may not be in the dark night. So there are many different options. So I'll just share the signs and let you decide for yourself. Now the prerequisite that I've noticed in the dark night is that people tend to be into self-development, searching for truth, looking for answers, trying to figure out what this being human thing is about. So with that said, the first sign that happened to me was that life slowed down externally. So my business slowed down, income went down, relationships disappeared, and I didn't really want to be with anyone anyway. Outward progress and success slowed down or completely disappeared, so I was forced to look within instead of find happiness and value and self-worth in external, external things like relationships, success, progress, anything like that. So number one, life slows down, everything grinds to a halt, at least it did for me. Sign number two is darkness. So depression, anxiety are turned way up. It's like the universe they has a, one of those dials and they it takes it and cranks it up to max and you get to see all the thoughts, all your thoughts, fears, beliefs, negative assumptions and judgments, all those things that you didn't see before because the dial wasn't high enough. Well, in the dark night, it's like you're in, in a room where the light has been turned on and there's a lot of crap in that room. So you get to experience all those depressive, anxious thoughts and they overwhelm you. You don't know what to do. You want to get out. You don't know how to get out. Nothing works. Everything you used to do, if you did things like affirmations or if you released emotions or meditated, everything like that, none of it seems to work anymore. So you're just left with feeling all this and going through the darkness. Now in my other video I mentioned that this has great potential because in the darkness is your freedom. So you have to be willing to face whatever comes up. Now obviously if you're having a very difficult time it's helpful to talk to someone who's gone through this, find people that are in the same boat as you because there are many. Or work with someone professionally that understands what's going on. So sign number two is darkness. Sign number three is conceptual collapse. So we all have a way we arrange the world in our head, but it's an invisible structure. We aren't aware of it. We don't know our assumptions, our beliefs, our judgments, our fears, our values. Most of the time, we aren't aware of these things. And what happens in the dark night is that all of that crumbles. Your values seem to just disappear. Things begin to feel meaningless. And it feels like you can't believe in anything. You can't hold on to anything. You can't grasp anything. I couldn't even read spiritual books or anything that could give me comfort because it seemed absurd. It didn't make sense to me any, any, anymore. It seemed so meaningless and empty and it seemed futile to even try. So 
A conceptual collapse makes you feel like you are in free fall. Your identity is collapsing. So you feel like you are dying, but you are not dying. It's only your constructed self that's crumbling away. And the reason I mentioned potential earlier is because once this constructed self crumbles even a little bit, there's tremendous freedom there. There's freedom, there's joy, hope, just enjoying life. So number three, conceptual collapse. Number four, meaninglessness. Your goals fall away. You don't feel like you have any purpose. There's no meaning to life or any, anything you do. And all of this happening helps you see what's valuable. Not in the moment it feels meaningless, but after. Especially if you're willing to face the darkness, work with it and pay attention to the helpful tools, people and resources that life brings your way. Because there are always those resources there, even if they're small, even if it's just a sentence in a movie or a few words in a book, or an email from a friend. Pay attention to what resonates with you. And what feels magnetic, what feels alive. Because even when everything feels meaningless, there are things that you feel drawn to. So note what those are and follow those. Because the meaninglessness can become overwhelming and overbearing you will want to escape at some time you will want to go to coping strategies which, which can become extreme such as drugs and just messing up your whole life now luckily I had the awareness somehow to know that I just had to stay put I just had to hold on somehow and get through this and I did. And you will too. Just do your best, stumble forward, and you'll see that it's going to be valuable. So number four, meaninglessness. Sign number five, and the last sign is heaviness. So the first sign was first sign was slowing down externally, life slowing down. Heaviness is internal. And for me, it felt like a heavy blanket over me. And I began asking, why me? Why do I have to suffer? Why do I have to go through this? So at first I sank into a victim mentality. I wondered why I had to go through this darkness. And the sense of meaninglessness made that worse because my suffering didn't seem to have a purpose. And when you don't have a purpose or a reason for going through difficult challenges, it makes it worse because it takes your strength away, at least some of it. But looking back, there seems to be some meaning to this because there's the potential to face it, to learn from it, and that helps you grow stronger, live life with more purpose, more awareness, living the ability to live your life your way instead of in a way that someone else tells you to. So those are the five signs. Number one, slowing down externally, life slowing down. Number two, darkness, depression, anxiety turned up, all your thoughts, your deepest, darkest thoughts and demons turned up so you can see them. Number three, conceptual collapse, nothing to hold on to. The way you arrange the world, crumbling to pieces. Number four, meaninglessness, no goals, no purpose, no drive to do anything. And number five, heaviness internally, a heavy blanket on you. Why me? Why do I have to do this? So if you're going through something like this, then you may be in the dark night. 
at least this is what I experienced and if you're in this then I recommend you check out my other videos on how to survive the dark night, how to get through it, what it is and all of those good things. So hope you enjoyed this, I'll see you in the next one.